So this is Kevin Tanner coming to you with another review here of the Micro Galaxy Squadron Series 2 Scout class. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at the box, uh, take a look at the figure, the vehicle, we'll do some measurements, we'll do a little comparison, uh, and we'll go from there. So starting out with the box, so here is the actual display that it comes in. So uh, I really like these boxes, the, uh, the detail on it's really nice. But you get all of the different options here that come in just the standard, um, standard scout class as well as you get some artwork here on the side of the box uh, and on the other side and then you've got your actual individual uh, box that comes it comes with and so you've got again the same type of artwork that's on the side you also get on the side of it it shows you all of the different options that you can get just as the standard series two as well as some of the chase variants in it on the inside of the box itself you have a little blister pack, <clears throat> comes with a vehicle and a figure and stand in it. So nothing really crazy about that, but that is that. So we're going to go ahead and take a look here at the Bark Speeder. So, um, so this comes with three different things in it. So you get your Phase 1 clone, you get uh, the Bark Speeder itself, and then you get your stand. So uh, starting with the stand... It has the two little pegs on it, just like all of the other stands do, so that you can have it in the position I had it in, or you could put it on the side here like it's flying around. Really like the stands. Um, here is, let's do the figure first. So here is the actual uh, phase one figure. And so we'll do a quick comparison here of this one compared to the one that comes with the ATRT. So there is uh, just a very slight difference here in terms of the quality of the um, the sculpt on it. So the one that comes with the Bark Speeder here, uh, this one here on the right side, has just a little more detail in the knee pads and in like the abdominal area as well as the belt. Um, and then also you can see there's a slight difference in the paint. So with the ATRT, this one over here, uh, you can see his glove is all black versus this one has got the basically just the glove painted black. And then also there's a little bit of paint in his elbows, as well as when we turn him around, he's got a little more paint um, on the back of his knees. So it does help a little bit with this figure, um, but uh, that is that. So... Um, now, if we look at him from a size perspective, let's see here, this guy is one inch tall, just like all of the other figures that are kind of a standard size. So it is nice that they actually do scale the figure slightly. So here is the Bark Speeder itself. So some nice paint detail on here. And this is all machine painted, which is pretty cool to see that uh, they can get that type of detail with that. But You've got uh, the little guns here on the front. You got the little foot stands. And that is that. Um, now, from a size perspective on this guy, this is, oops, let's see here. It's a little more than two inches, maybe two and a quarter inches long uh, from front to back. And uh, that is that. So, um, uh, again, this is a cool one. This actually will fit inside of the um, LAAT in the back compartment of it, which is a pretty cool feature that they released that, um, that vehicle as well as this one in the same line. So that way you can combine them together, which is pretty cool. But um, anyways, if you, uh, if you like the video, please go ahead and hit like, um, subscribe. And feel free to leave any uh, questions or comments below. Thanks.